A school for students with learning differences is facing off against Del Mar leaders after the Del Mar City Council voted to end the school's lease. The Winston School, which serves about 100 students in grades 6 through 12, now has until 2023 to find a new location. News 8 Shannon Handy is digging into the controversy and finding out why the city says they just couldn't make it work. The Winston School has been here since 1988. Supporters say it's unthinkable to end its lease considering how many kids benefit from this place. But city leaders maintain they tried to make it work. The school just didn't do their part. Back in 2020, News 8 was at the Winston School to cover its first ever drive through graduation. At that time, parents, students and staff were elated. Now, one year later, they're angry after the Del Mar City Council voted this week to end their lease in 2023. I'm mortified. I am disappointed. I'm appalled. Laura Gallinson's daughter graduated last year. She calls the school life changing for how it caters to children with all types of learning and behavioral challenges. Not having it here, she says, would be a big loss. I'm not going to stand for it. And a lot of funders in this town and a lot of very important people are not going to stand for the eviction of kids who have special needs. The Winston School, located on 9th Street in Del Mar, has been a tenant at the site since opening in 1988. In 2008, the city purchased the property from the Del Mar Union School District and took over as landlord. A lease agreed to in 2010 sent out requirements for the school to produce plans for major redevelopment by certain deadlines. Due to the pandemic, the city gave the school extensions on those deadlines. School director Dr. Dina Harris says so far, she submitted 13 plans, all of which were sent back. I am really surprised. We have done everything the city has asked. Dr. Harris feels as though city leaders have an ulterior motive and possibly want to use the land for something else, like affordable housing. There are members on the city council and I believe individuals at the city staff who have other priorities for this property. But Del Mar Mayor Terry Gasterlin says that's not the case, maintaining she and other city leaders tried to make it work. We gave them five extensions on their deadline and asked them you know, you need to submit your plans. You need to redo these buildings. We worked with them to define what that meant. And over time, they just didn't get the materials in. At this point, the lease ends July 1st, 2023. Dr. Harris and others say that date means little to them, vowing to figure out a way to stay. Winston's here to stay, and I'm not going to give up. School officials say they're looking at all options, including legal ones, to ensure the school is able to stay. For now, the new year starts here in about three weeks.